What is up guys? I'm doing two videos in one fucking night because I've been gone for so fucking long. Jesus. And I have to make a comeback in some type of way. So, I should have explained this in the other one, that I'm, uh, video. But it doesn't matter because I've been gone for about two weeks now. Videos, I think three, but streaming two. Um, I've been under the weather with illness, sick to my sick like a dog it was really bad and yeah it was bad as you could kind of hear some i'm still kind of dealing with a little bit like congestion and everything like that so if you hear me like kind of yeah it's because of that so but i wanted to actually which is the other video you see me without headset because i didn't want music but this video i wanted music because it's talking about stuff which i'm pretty sure it's probably loud as shit there we go I'm going to leave it because I don't give a fuck. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk about something that has been kind of making me mad lately. And I kind of only really do it because of particular apps I have on my phone. And which I will make another video about that. Pretty much talking about my opinion about that and just how I feel about those apps. But I think they're great. I think they're great for what they do. However... Fucking this goddamn boom bark. Oh, anyway, but anyway. I wanted to talk about, as you can see from the fucking title, the Supercell games. Goddamn. Like, I can't. I can't express to you how sometimes I get so mad playing these games. I probably shouldn't play games if I get mad. Thanks, dude, for the comment. Yeah, appreciate it. Probably shouldn't play video games if, I, if they make me mad. But, as I said earlier, I do kind of play these games because of particular apps on my phone. I would just say what they are if you're interested because they do kind of open the door and getting stuff. And I do like the apps for that mean which is the Blast game saving app. It's unique. I don't think they really have much anymore. But I don't know. Their support kind of sucks. I don't really they're not really helpful. But from what I've seen, the only games that they really support now are kind of just uh, Brawl Stars, Fortnite, World of Warcraft, and I think that's it. There may be some one-offs, maybe like Siege for like Steam, but I only really do it for Brawl Stars. But hey, it's like for the amount of time I put into Brawl Stars, I can make like 20 bucks in like four months. So worth it. But yeah, that's one of them. And the other one's Buff, which I will make another video about these two particular, just talking about pros and cons and I'll actually have a layered out stuff. But I wanted to talk mainly about the Supercell videos and I kind of have to make it short as you'll find out from the other video, not being a verified YouTuber, uh, your videos cannot exceed 15 minutes. And I love to talk and especially very gibberly. <laughs> God damn it. I don't know if that's a word, but fuck it. In other words, full of gibberish. <laughs> I'm just gonna make it a word. Just start it somewhere. Better than yellow, okay? Um, but I wanted to talk about the Supercell games. I don't, not going to talk about Clash of Clans. I have not played that game to, uh, enough to understand. I'm about to knock out my mic. God damn it. Um, to understand the community or to understand, um, how the game's even played or the meta behind it. So I, yeah, I won't talk about it. But the other two, I feel like I've been playing. So Clash Royale or Brawl Stars. Brawl Stars probably the more out of the two. Um, but I feel like I understand both of them to the point where, not that I'm okay, not that I'm good at it, but I feel like I'm decent. So it's like if I, so like for like Clash Royale for instance, if I put money into it, I could be good, essentially. But that's kind of how that game is. The game is very. I'm not going to say play to win, no, uh, pay to win. It, it comes off that way. But I would say it's more so 
pay to get ahead. It's not pay to win because you can beat people who have better stuff than you. Rarely. Depending on how much better their stuff is compared to yours. So it rarely depends on, on that. But eventually you get to the point that all your stuff's maxed out anyway. And who gives a shit, right? Then at that point, it's just all strategy. It's all, can you beat this person based on the cards you have? Or the, the in this case, the characters you have in your, your deck of eight. I believe it's eight. I can't remember. It shows you how much I pay attention. <laughs> but... It is infuriating at some points in times to, to me anyway, to lose to people that way. It's so satisfying when you beat a person that you know clear and well has played for a lot longer, maybe put money into it, and it's so satisfying when you beat them. But obviously, I'm probably not the first person to talk about this, and I'm crazy for talking about it because I feel like, and sometimes in Clash Royale, that the the opponent can sometimes play a significant more than you can. And it bothers me. It comes off that way. I don't know if cheating in this game is a thing. I haven't looked into it. It's I'm very ignorant in that. It just feels like it. So therefore, maybe. But I'm not. It's like anger is a whole other thing for me that I'm working on. So I don't really give a shit. It's just something I'm working on. But, yeah. Clash Royale. Otherwise, it's, it's a f decent fun game. I wouldn't be enticed to play it if I didn't think it was okay. Um, like, if literally, if the only reason why I was playing it was just because of buff or just because of blast, then yeah, I should, yeah, I should just stop playing it. <laughs> because at that point, there's literally no point or rhyme or reason for why I play it. And there's, yeah. and I should just take it at base value. It's a fucking game. I shouldn't get mad at it. I don't yell obscenities, but I do get mad, and it's mold. But anyway, that's enough talking about Clash Royale. It's like, if you enjoy it, let me know in the comments below. All right, if you let me know what you think. It's like, if you think the same kind of like, you know, I feel like people cheat, then I'll love to talk about it because I, I don't know. I don't know how widely you think it is, and or if it's just because I suck. That, that, that is a total valid point. I am okay at games i've been playing games for a really long time so i feel like i grasp certain games especially particular games a lot better than most um but yeah anyway to the next one the other one i mentioned uh brawl stars so i've been playing brawl stars probably uh for the better part of two years now not as long as it's been out i thought about playing i played a little bit when it came out but when it came out i also had a very shitty phone <laughs> so it was not a good idea at all and uh yeah it just made me very much like i don't think i want to play it at that time and then i just started playing it because i saw it was like an opportunity to kind of make money when my free time when i didn't really have anything to do to and yeah i'm not talking about loads of money but it's like money here and there like over the course of like a time it's like i would say over two years brawl stars has helped me make 60 80 bucks so worth it have I played a lot of it? Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, other than that, it's, I enjoy the game. It's not, I would disagree with premises of saying that it's pay to win. There's only really one, but even then, I would say more so now, I would say it's probably pay to win because the level cap coming from going from 10 to 12 or 9 to 12 yeah 10 to or 9 to 12 was fucking insane or 9 to 11 yeah 9 to 11 was insane and that gap is huge especially from 9 to 10 9 to 10 i thought was just crazy but 9 to uh, 10 to 11 is just even more so just wow so it's kind of become pay to win in that regard, but it's still, you can, it's a lot more. I, that's why I was like, it's very, I wouldn't argue it a lot because certain champions in the game have counters and everything like that. Certain champions excel in other things and your teammates. 
But that's not the main thing I want to talk about Brawl Stars. I actually enjoy Brawl Stars quite a bit. I think it's one of the better mobile games to play that are popular. There's other mobile games I would recommend more so, but I'll get to that later. I'm just a friendly mobile indie gamer, so with some AAA games. Like, I have Pokemon right here. But I'm not streaming Pokemon right now because I kind of just want to be brain dead. And I felt a moment to share my opinion and rant about stuff. And so, therefore, I've been recording videos for the past hour doing, working on stuff and everything like that. <clears throat> but this was my last video. But the main thing I want to talk about, I'm going to probably spend three minutes talking about it because I want to make, meet that criteria video. It's the fucking goddamn map maker of fucking Brawl Stars. Holy fuck. Like Reddit for Brawl Stars talks about it a lot. And I really hope fucking Supercell brings on someone that fucking... Because I rarely thumbs up a map on that. Not because I'm mad. I can't be very passionate and very emotional about this. But, like, seriously. Like, today, Solo Showdown was the, the map maker thing. When all these maps are indubitably just, like, 100%, without a doubt, sh shit. Like, there's no creativity in it. Sure, you can spend creativity, but, like, to me, it's, like, like, I'm, I'm a different person. Sure, other people may like your, like this shit for what it is. I was like, wow, this looks really cool. They made it look like 8-bit or some shit. I don't fucking care. Like, what I care about, if you're going to do a map maker, what I care about mainly is how the map functions for each champion. I don't like it when a map favors champions. Obviously, you can't keep that. There's always going to be a certain type of way that some champion's going to be favored, especially as the game continues to grow and they continue to make more champions and everything like that, or more brawl stars, brawlers, I should call them, not champions. All of the years of League of Legends have made me call every avatar, every character, and every fucking game a champion. Except for Pokemon. I always know them as Pokemon. I don't call them champions. That's stupid. But anyway... That's kind of what I want to talk about. Map maker, I, 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 gen I, I always sum down everything. Obviously, I don't make maps. I'm not a create. I, I am a creative person. I just can't put pen to paper. Everything's very just like creativity's high, but I can't, I can't visually make it. I can't physically make it. I, I can describe it, and someone can take it from there, but. I need that person to like connect the things for me. I just hit my mic. Uh, connect the things for me. But that's what I want to talk about. Anyway, if you enjoy the games, enjoy the games. If you don't, for today, put them away. It can wait. Come back to another hour or day. Or play a different brawler in Brawl Stars. That's a good thing. If you don't have brawler, if all your brawlers aren't at the, are like 500 mark trophy wise then play a different brawler like play against some noobs and that's always kind of helpful helpful sometimes for me just to have like a good like s just smash just beat the fuck out of everyone it's so great but anyway thanks for your time guys i kind of have to hurry up with this but um thanks so much for your time i appreciate it as always if you feel led to subscribe or like or comment or just like i appreciate any feedback or just any type of communication at all and i would love to hear from you guys and just thanks for being a part thanks for giving me any time i don't deserve any of it but i appreciate that you're willing to give that time to me in my videos so thank you guys and as always have a great day great night wherever the fuck you may be just have a great time but anyway i'll see you guys in the next video or stream whatever comes first See you guys.